What's up, Killer Hobby people? Today I'm working on a Witch's Cauldron setup. I got some bamboo, then I've just got some cheap little twine here. I'm taking two sticks of bamboo, twining them up together. Uh, that's a six foot ladder, so probably seven foot tall. Uh, maybe six and a half the time they're leaned into each other. Um, I got some other string to hold the bamboo together at the top. And then they're just gonna be TP'd out over a witch's cauldron, which have just a little cheap 14 inch one right here. I'm gonna put some water in it with the uh, ultrasonic mister i'm gonna put that on top of some fake coals made out of um, expanding foam some orange lights and then the the ultrasonic mister actually has lights in it so it'll have lights on top and the coals so just gonna get going on that just to give you an idea of what i've done so here's the bamboo I'm 5'8", so that's yeah, about seven foot tall, I guess. I just took it two pieces, went up and down it like three or four times, twined it all together, tied it all over in a bunch of different spots, and it has a real nice raggedy look. So three of these is what you gotta do. And they don't even have to be the same length. I got one that's good two feet shorter than the other but it's really going to give it that jagged look and I've got also some little pieces of bamboo already just tied on here just the the, the rougher you make it the better it's gonna look for your witch's uh, cauldron stand so just tie it on here anywhere go to town wrapping it all over on this thing up and down up and down up and down if you use one whole little roll of uh, the twine it's just gonna make it look better so we'll get these three sticks done and then I'll be right back roll number two just keep wrapping guys get it going up and down up and down up and down <laughs> second one is done I know it kind of sucks wrapping this stuff. Just think when you're done how cool it's gonna look. On to number three. Got them all three done. Now I gotta put all three of them together and use that bigger rope up top so you can fold them out to a TP. What's those for? The For the TP, for the witch's colder. Not the same for the big guy. Um, what is it's it? Orient. It's for the witch's cobra. I just said that ding dong. Oh. Make your tripod the best you can. It's not horrible. Yeah, I'm not gonna cut these. I got some little twine here. I just want to hold it together. right about there. I'll go ahead and just put a simple knot around it. Hopefully they won't fall. Just 
square knot, I guess it's called, not a simple knot. So right about there. Take your rope and wrap it all around up here. Go in and out, in and out, and then around just so you can collapse it when you're not using it. I'll get that done. Got that part all tied up up there. I just got these chains and locks. I just threw over it, give it a little character. Just wrap your rope all around it up and down, weave it in between. Give it that nice, maybe I'll throw a skull up there in between those. Give it that good creepy look. You can make those legs as wide as you need them. And I got the cauldron, it's a little one. I'm gonna get a bigger one. Like I say, that's gonna be down there on top of triple expanded foam on top of orange lights with black paint and red highlights and it'll give it the look of uh, fire with the ultrasonic mister light mister inside the witch's cauldron should look really good so my idea is to use a bunch of this chain from the Dollar Tree. Just open one of the links and run it down as long as I need it. It looks kind of ridiculous with that little bitty cauldron. But that's what I got right now for a mock-up. So it will be bigger. I'm looking at, I think it's like a 28 inch cauldron. Yeah, it's like a 28 inch cauldron. So I'm going to fake these chains up it make it look like these chains are holding it Perfect. 
could put a chain on this cauldron like that and fake it up to these. And just hook these back in. I wish this folder had the side end because it would look way better. more chain to go around super simple prop to make really effective too once you do the uh, the foam with the lights on the bottom and the ultrasonic mister if you get the ultrasonic mister if you make one of these and get the ultrasonic mister get the color one it's 11 bucks off of amazon they look great at night they just all different kinds of colors and it's got that little mist coming up like your witch is boiling some nasty brew so i've got to get the foam do that with the lights the other cauldron i'll use this one for now and get the mister in there and then i'll be back i set down some uh, carpet covering paper or construction paper or whatever I put the orange Halloween lights down. I put a flicker or a blinker, flip blinker or a flicker, whatever you want to call it, light in the middle of the strand. So the first part of the strand stays on constant, but the second part of the strand blinks. So I took the first part of the strand and I wrapped it kind of close to the middle, just like how a real fire would be real kind of hot towards the center and then I slowly not slowly but I swirled it out towards the outside working out to the blinkers or the flickering so it's gonna have some constant light and it's gonna have some flickering light I threw a couple of these Dollar Tree uh, hands and wrists in here or hands and forearms and I had some old uh, brush or mulched up wood laying around that I threw on here with the expanding foam it's going to stick to it I'm going to let this dry and then I'll probably get one more can of the expanding foam squirt it on there and then do the uh, the light black base coat with some red highlights and that should give a good flame like effect for the cauldron yeah I didn't go too close in the center on the lights because obviously the cauldron is gonna cover that. So you can wrap them out a little ways there. But it's looking pretty good. I put some skulls up on the top. I got those chains just hanging there now out of the way while I was doing the foam. That's just a Dollar Tree skull that I did the plastic wrap and uh, expanding foam on. Painted it some nasty colors. So I got some skulls hanging out up top. I put some in the middle here. It just didn't look right. I did have this little guy laying around, which I stuck on there. But my wife came up with a good idea. If I just took those Dollar Tree skulls 
and stacked them all the way up this thing. That would also be cool. It would just be a stack of skulls going up for the cauldron uh, holder. But right next to this, I do have this stack of skulls that I made last year that I think will look cool next to it. And that just stakes down in the ground. Just a bunch of different skulls and then that top one was from Michael's. It's a little bigger. So that'll be next to it. With that witch right there. And she'll be about that high. It's about, God, I think she's about nine foot tall. It's on an aluminum piece of pipe like that right there. And I'm gonna paint it black and of course you won't see it at night. And she'll be kind of floating next to this cauldron. And I got a couple little small witches that I'll put around there too. And with that cauldron lit up with that ultrasonic mister and the light, uh, this should be a pretty cool looking little area and super, super cheap to make. This witch I got from Ross last year for nine bucks, like two days after Halloween. I was surprised it was still there. The eyes light up, it kind of wiggles its arms and it talks a few different uh, phrases and it's motion activated so for nine bucks <laughs> you can't beat it so that's the status on this i can't decide if i should put a little bit of creepy cloth around this i don't know why you would but maybe just for looks so once i get another coat of the expanding foam on there i'll video painting it and doing the highlights. I seen a guy doing highlights and he was just getting really, really close on the red spray paint and it just looked like red lines through it. So uh, you wanna stand back and kind of mist it when you do that. I'll show how to do that. But there we are for now. Making a witch's cauldron stack. Used bamboo and twine. I got orange lights underneath the standing foam. With some skulls, some bones, some wood. I'm gonna paint that black with some red highlights and it'll look like uh, charcoal or like coals, like a fire burning. And then I'm gonna put the witch's cauldron on top with the chains, it'll look like it's hanging. I got paint over here, it's pretty well dry. It's not cured, but it's dry, so I can go ahead and paint over it. I've got some black rust-oleum camouflage black, some dark brown, and some rust-oleum ultra cover red. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint over the top Like that, it's just gonna look like 
but it's gonna look really good at nighttime with those lights going. Still got a cure. I'm not even gonna mess with it anymore until tomorrow. Give it a lot of time to cure up. Go plug these lights in, put the cauldron on there and we'll see how it looks at least. So I got these little lanterns from Dollar Tree. They have these all year. Uh, they're green and blue and maybe another color. I just hit them with some black. And added this little triangle piece on the cauldron setup. And I'm gonna put a lantern out on each dill. And those lanterns have the flickering light, uh, which should be good for nighttime. And Dollar Tree sells those flickering light tea candles all year long. You get two for a dollar twenty-five, so. I think it'll be a nice addition to this. I also got the ultrasonic mister in, so I'm gonna be finishing this up today. This is the mist maker for the cauldron. I uh, just got it off of Amazon. Um, it was $11. I will have a link to it in the description. Uh, it comes with your adapter. For the 110, it also comes with the actual mist maker slash uh, light changing one. I, this is the light changing one. Um, so I have this cauldron here. I just drilled a hole through it to get the cord through. And then this is a bowl from the Dollar Tree. I cut out <clears throat> on each side. <clears throat> excuse me. Cut out on each side for the... Uh, the brackets for the chains and I'm just going to slide this down inside of here and it fits fits perfect pull this cord through just line those up like so and I kind of like this green bowl in here idea anyway it's gonna have mist all in there you won't really see any of the ridges but you'll get that greenish color so it does have on the cord this um, water seal plunger so i just used a step drill bit and drilled it out uh you know to the perfect size for that to fit in there snug um it does say it does have these directions for this little thing this is the uh splash guard to keep all your water from splashing out. It does say in here, I believe it says no less than five. Let me see here. Okay, so you can't have it angled any more than 15 degrees for it to work properly. And you must have a depth about five centimeters. So four to seven centimeters is what they call for the depth of water. It also says don't let it run very long uh, without that amount of water or you will obviously cut the life of this thing. It does have a little service instructions in here, but for 11 bucks, it's probably cheaper to just buy a new one instead of parts for it. So we'll get some water in here. And we'll get this thing cooking. Take this off just so we can see here. I'm assuming right up to this little knob here, maybe more. Tell you what, we'll put this splash guard on here, like so, and just sit it on there, don't press it. Okay, plug in this adapter. A little difficult, there we go. And I'll get it plugged in here. Okay, so that's enough water there. I'm actually gonna put some more water to see
definitely seems better with a little more water. So you can see it looks like blue, purple, red, and yellow for the colors. My AC is kind of blowing on this thing right now, so it's blowing the mist out. I'll turn the lights out and we'll get a view. I do like that green, green bowl in it though. Now you can always take this thing off. It's just going to bubble water up over your bowl. And for outside, I think that'll be perfect. Give it that nice bubble effect. And it seems to do a little bit better on the mist without that thing. I think I like it without that. So that's pretty cool. That's for the cauldron. I guess I'm going to stick with this size for now. If I end up getting a bigger one, I will definitely use it. But I got so many projects going right now that I'm not really worried about buying another witch's cauldron. So once I have this all set up and out at night, we'll get a final video on it. And the witch's cauldron setup is done. I'm going to kill the light and show you guys. It's definitely pretty cool. Got the ultrasonic mister going. Lights in the fake charcoal. Stand. I got three little lanterns on there. Ended up putting these little skulls around it. Skulls and that guy up top. So I did the math on this. And everything without the ultrasonic mister uh, total cost is like $12. And the ultrasonic mister was $11. So way cheaper and definitely looks way better and more, I don't know, realistic, but definitely cooler than like that $80 one you can get at Home Depot. It doesn't mist or blow any fog or anything like that. It just lights up and it's 80 bucks. This thing is pretty cool. So I'll have all the links in the description. Actually, everything is from the Dollar Tree except for the ultrasonic mister and the cauldron. So, but the cauldron's left over from last year. So I guess it would be a little bit more than that because that cauldron is probably about eight bucks itself. So about $12 for everything on the stand, eight bucks for the cauldron, and $11 for the ultrasonic mister. Looks really cool. And it's gonna be in a dark area. I would put it out where it's gonna go right now. I started to decorate with the floating max and was gonna put everything out but I live in I live north of Tampa Bay and we have a hurricane that's coming it's supposed to know more Monday it's Saturday evening we're supposed to know more on Monday but yeah I'm not gonna put all the Halloween stuff out and then have to take it right back down so I'll wait for the hurricane to pass anyway I hope everyone likes this and you guys can all make your own and it comes out way cooler than just about anything you could purchase for a decent price I mean you can drop some money and get something cool but this is cooler it's way cooler all the wrap and stuff around here it gives it that creepy look it's really 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 cool I like how it came out
originally I didn't have these this triangle piece with these lanterns on here but I think these give it a pretty cool little effect so let me know what everybody thinks appreciate y'all watching